NFL 2K2 is uh, is Sega's latest uh, Dreamcast offering for the football franchise that some, myself included, have have known to be uh, one of the best playing football franchises out there on any system. This year, Visual Concepts have added a number of new features, none of which really are key to the, to the series. You know, this is the third installment, so it's like, you know, there was a, there's quite a few things I was hoping to see in NFL 2K2 that I, I don't see. Um, however, there are a few things that, that make the difference. <laughs> For instance, uh, the big one for me is the, the ability now to track win-loss records online. Of course, the big ability of uh, NFL 2K1 was, uh, you know, everybody was hoping to see you'd be able to track stuff online uh, a little bit better. Um, but, but now in 2K2, you can actually see, you know, who is really the best NFL 2K2 player out there uh, just by looking at their online record, which is, which is a nice touch. Um, I would have liked to have seen the, you know, the ability to play, play seasons with other players online, and, uh, or even tournaments for that matter. Because um, as it is, you know, you're going to be teaming up with people and uh, playing against each other and keeping your own tournament record, basically. But I, I think it would have been easy for them to implement, and unfortunately they hadn't. Uh, I don't know if they didn't have the time or if they just didn't have the gumption to do it. But, uh, but yeah, that would have been nice to see. Visually, NFL 2K2, um, it's a decent looking game. Um, if you play the first two games, you're going to recognize it, obviously. Um, it's not dramatically different looking. It doesn't really look any better. It doesn't look uh, any worse. Um, there are some noticeable things that you'll see, um, the biggest of which is the, uh, the player models in last year's game as the camera moved closer to them. You can actually see them you know, bulk up, fill in with, with more detail. This year, that's gone, thankfully. Um, however, the, the player models overall, when you're close to them, um, they don't look quite as uh, as as good, but uh, you know that's not to say that they look noticeably bad. Um, the textures for the players' uniforms and the field and the crowd and everything uh, around the textures look pretty good, um, but as a whole, the game pretty much looks the same. The animation, however, has been changed slightly. Um, you'll you'll see a lot of the same animations. But, uh, but especially during the runs, uh, when you're taking the ball upfield and uh, with a running back, you'll notice a lot of different animations, a lot of tripping animations, a lot of stumbling animations, and uh, and, and that tied in with the you know the new uh, new style of running gameplay really changes the way the game looks and feels to, to a certain extent, at least for the running game. The animation as a whole, though, you'll see very many of the same animations, although you will see quite a few new tackling and uh, running animations, like I said. NFL 2K1 was really almost a perfect football game. It played, you know, extremely responsibly. Um, it had just about everything you wanted to have. The only problem, of course, that ruined the game for a lot of people, especially online, was uh, the two big money plays it had. Um, basically, any any play, really, any passing play you threw that had an out, um, you know, it was an instant. It was an instant catch. It was an instant, you know, it was instant yards. Um, there was really no opposition for, for anybody playing that game if they knew how to pass well and uh, call the right out plays. The halfback option, of course, was the other big money play in uh, NFL 2K1 that really you know, destroyed the defense. There was nothing they could really do. You could get you know, five, six yards almost every time um, if you knew what you were doing. Uh, so this year, of course, you know, some of the first plays I called when I was playing 2K2, uh, because seemingly it was the only thing that really had to be changed was whether or not you could do those money plays and whether or not you could get away with them. Uh, thankfully, in NFL 2K2, you can't. Um, you, the defense covers the outs a lot better. And, it, it, and it's weird because it's almost, I hate to say it, but it's, it's almost an artificial way that they, they went about it. It's not necessarily that the defenders are always on your, your uh, receiver because I think that would have been actually artificial as well. What they did was it, they use a mix of having it so that the receivers are covered very well by the defenders, um, but also it's extremely hard to hit those receivers now with the pass, which means, you know, it's not like, you know, you'll throw the ball every time and they can catch it. Um, I don't care how good you were at passing at 2K1. Um, I, I, you know, I was really good at that game, and uh, I could hit those receivers all the time. Well, 2K2, I've been playing for a while now, and uh, I find it hard to be consistent on the outplays. You know, it's really hard to, to hit them, therefore the money play's gone.
The halfback option money play is a different story, seemingly because of the, the way that the visual concepts change the running game in NFL 2K2. Um, it seems that, you know, the running game obviously improved in 2K1. They allowed you, you know, from the first game, the original game, you couldn't really run the ball that well. And it was, you know, to a certain extent realistic in that, uh, you know, you get four yards here, you get three yards there, but it was extremely hard to get any yardage on the ground. In 2K1, of course, they changed it so that you could, you know, bust through the line. It was a little harder for the, the defense to tackle your, your running back. And, uh, and, and for the most part, you could, you know, make for big games. In 2K2, it looks like they wanted to expand on that further. And, and for my taste, it, they went too far. They added a bunch of new uh, animations that make it so that unless a defender really sticks the man with the ball very well, he doesn't go down. Um, you'll see, you know, these tripping animations and these, uh, these animations, these bump animations, and it's like, I mean, for the most part, you can, you can blast through the line with a running back and for the most part, you know, get through unscathed. You might trip a little here and there, but for the most part, you know, you're going you're gonna to get big yards. Um, and to a certain extent, it is too far. Uh, for my, you know, for my taste, the running game has been expanded way too far. Um, the first few games that I played, I could kind of get a sense that that was the case, and so literally, I, I, I played the whole game running the ball up the field on a default difficulty setting. You know, each and every play, and the defense could simply not stop me. I could, you know, run the ball through the line. I could run the ball around the line. I could run the ball any which way I wanted, and every time I would get, you know, you know, of course there would be a few times where I'd get stuck behind the line of scrimmage um, for a loss, but you know, like I said, I played entire games where I did nothing other than run the ball and I won. As far as, you know, the gameplay goes for NFL 2K2, um, the game and the series is still the best controlling football game on the market. Um, there's, there's no other game that plays as good as NFL 2K2 does. Um, you know, just passing the ball with the maximum passing, which allows you to lead receivers upfield, downfield, you know, underthrow them, overthrow them, whatever you want to do. Maximum passing lets you do it all. Um, as far as the running goes, you know, you can decide whether you want to sprint uh, by, you know, pressing the button as, as fast as you can or whether you want to charge up and perform a spin move or a hurdle or a stiff arm. You know, so in that aspect, in, in the aspect of controlling the players on the field, it's, it's still really the best and most responsive playing football game out, out there on any system. The, uh, the play by plays and the color commentary is, is really quite good. Um, it's not only right on the mark, but it's also quite entertaining, which is something you don't see in a lot of football games. You know, usually it's just the dry commentary and the dry, you know, first down. But, uh, you know, in this game, they, they kind of ham it up quite a bit, you know, as they did in the first two games. So you'll, you'll hear some funny stuff that'll keep you going for a while. The Cowboys are going to give away some great field position here, Dan. While, you know, a lot of people will say that, you know, gameplay is the most important thing to a sports game, I'm, you know, I'm sure for every one of those people there are, there's another guy that says, you know, stats and options and features are just as important. Um, while I stick to the, you know, the school of thought that the gameplay is, I also understand that there are a lot of people that, that do like um, all of the stuff. And, and really for that, I mean, Madden 2002 for the PlayStation 2 still beats NFL uh, hands down. You know, the series has picked up quite a bit. Um, this last iteration has a lot of stuff that the first two didn't. Um, you know, the creative player feature is still in there, although they really hadn't, you know, brought it up from where it was before. So, you know, the nasal strip, the hands and stuff, which was good, you know, a few years ago when the first game came out. But, you know, by today's standards, which, of course, is Madden 2002 for the PlayStation 2, um, you know, the, uh, the extraneous options and modes and features that NFL 2K2 has just really aren't, aren't anything compared to what the Madden series has. You know, this year the game has a fantasy, uh, fantasy league series, which allows you to uh, draft you know, players from the NFL and create your own teams and players and, you know, do basically anything you'd want to do. Um, it, it's just within those features themselves, there's not really a whole lot of, you know, depth to them. It's like, yeah, we got a create a player feature. Yeah, we got to create a team feature. Yeah, you know, we got all this stuff, but, you know, compared to like Madden or anything else, it's like, it's quite shallow, really. <laughs> The, the game also includes this year a franchise mode, with, uh, which allows you to go through several different seasons um, in one continuous, you know, save. So 
you basically plays the four and 49ers, you know, through not only the first season, but also keep on going through multiple seasons and see how your team fares over the years. One thing that the that Visual Concepts did this year, and I don't know why, I don't understand, is uh, during the, the, the play selection screen, um, you have to use the analog controller, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's I, hate, I hate to sound like a whiner, but it's actually really hard. If you look, you actually see you have to move this little icon back and forth with the analog stick. And, you know, while that might not seem like such a, such a problem, even players that played the first two games picking plays, you know, with analog was not, you know, was not the, ch the choice to go with. You used the D-pad. This year, for whatever reason, Visual Concept is taking away the ability to choose your plays with the D-pad, which means you have to use the analog stick to do it. And, and uh, you know, f through all the times I've been playing, it's like, you know, there were several times where I picked the wrong play by accident, simply because it's so sensitive that uh, you know at the last second when you're you know pushing the button to select it, you know you barely move your thumb and you, you, oh wow I, I hella picked a, you know a, a fake punt instead of the punt and uh, you know which is unacceptable you know they should have they should have not done that they should have left the option to pick the plays with the D-pad and because it's not like the D-pad is doing anything during the time that he's picking a play anyways so. Which is, you know, it's just bizarre. It, it, you know, baffles me as to why they changed that. Uh, it's definitely not a change that's, you know, favorable. And, uh, you know, NFL 2K2 is still the fastest playing uh, football game out there. Uh, it's still, to me, the most responsive, the most fun uh, football game out there for, for two players, four players, or online. Um, it's the only game online right now, football. But, uh, you know, as far as, you know, it's too bad. It's too bad that they, they tweaked the uh, running game so far as to make it, you know, too easy. Because um, if it wasn't for that, it would be, once again, the best football game out there.